Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. Here's our next video in a series on how to you know, put together a floor plan. This is specifically the requirements for a floor plan for our week three uh, projects we're going to be doing here in AutoCAD. So let's continue on with uh, doing some walls here. Then I'd like to show you the, the design center and show you what you can do with the design center in order to help you visualize how to lay out your room. So we're going to be putting some furniture here in a minute. But let's draw some more walls in here. Let me show you some options in regard to drawing walls. We're going to pick the appropriate layer a walls layer. We're going to draw a line uh, maybe here and what I like to do is kind of make a short hallway down here and draw out uh, maybe a room that, uh, that's going to go next to that. So it's difficult to pick up object snaps in here and uh, kind of arbitrary in regard to distances but let me show you how to use the stretch command in order to make these uh, corrections. So what I like to do is draw a wall out here and maybe go out about three feet so at first I'm just going to draw a line out to that point to perpendicular. I'm going to draw a line out for the hall. I'm going to make that hall four feet. So type in four, then you draw a line up this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a short hall and maybe a line going off this way and then back down here. And that's going to denote a yet another room. So I'm going to erase my reference geometry here. I have a hallway here with a door that's going to be here and another door that's going to be here that's going to go inside of this room. And then uh, these walls over here, these lines which represent uh, uh, the walls over there. So. Let's say you want to take one of these walls and make them into a polyline, which might be uh, convenient to do that right, right, right now. You could do that relatively easily. If you click on one of these lines and type in P, edit, all one word, P, edit, enter, and it asks you, do you want to turn it into one? The answer is yes, I would, please. J for join, if you type in J for join for one of our choices, and then select on all the lines that are connected to it. And all that turns into a polyline. Now remember the, the value of doing this, especially when we're putting walls together, is it gives us the ability to offset those walls. So if we do that, if we, um, if we go to the offset command, four and a half is already remembered, so we're going to go ahead and just press enter or spacebar and select the line that we want to offset. Once we do that, once that's offset, because polylines can be tricky, let's go ahead and explode all that now that we have all that done. So go to the explode command and it puts it right back to regular lines. The problem with a uh, polyline sometimes is when you try to offset uh, polylines more than one time or if you're trying to copy and move them, you want to move one single line segment, everything else kind of comes with it. So it's a good productivity tool up to a point, but you also want to be careful with it too. It can be rather cumbersome. Let's go ahead and dimension this. All you need to do is dimension your outside line. So let's go ahead your outside walls because there's going to be way too many dimensions in here to, for us to really kind of track. So this dimension here is 34, 1 and 3 quarters of an inch. Don't really want that uh, value. Let's just make it regular 34 inches or 34 feet. Or 34 uh, feet uh, 1 inch perhaps. The way you do that is you go to the stretch command, highlight everything that's over here, establish a direction, and type in 0.75 and that gets rid of that uh, three quarters of an inch. So now we have 34 feet one inch. Okay, we're gonna copy properties. If you go up to the go up to the clipboard, match properties is what you're looking for. I matched the properties and took my uh, dimension off the A walls layer and put it back on the dimension layer. So, a linear dimension from this point to the interior portion of our wall there, just like we've been doing, uh, fairly consistent up till now. Again, we're on the wrong layer, so we're going to go back to match properties. Click on that dimension, this dimension. Let's go ahead and do the stretch command again. And stretch this down by 3 sixteenths of an inch. 3 divided by 16. And that uh, corrects that dimension. So those are kind of tricks that we could use to help lay out our walls. In the next video, we're going to go to the design center and start putting in some furniture.